Hi, and welcome to the training today, everybody. So we're, we're going to talk about stumble upon for a few minutes. And I know you're not seeing this right now because I did this before I hit the record button. But I just, I, I just surveyed everybody who's here live. There's about 40 of you here. And one in five of you guys actually had heard of StumbleUpon. Fewer had actually used it on a regular basis. StumbleUpon.com is, is very popular, but, but popular is relative. It's certainly not popular like Facebook is popular, but it's, but it's still a big, busy, social type website that provides endless opportunities for marketers to get traffic to their site. Okay. First thing about stumble upon though, um, it has been around for a while. So, I mean, I remember seven, eight years ago doing some training, uh, maybe not that long ago. It was more like five or six years ago training some of my clients. And I, I would use stumble upon as a, as, as a marketing opportunity back then it was a little newer. It was a little more popular. I think since then it's, it's come down a little bit. It's not quite as popular as it used to be but still really popular and good enough for you guys to market on. Let me, let me explain the concept of stumble upon and I'm going to explain the concept by showing you how it works really quick. Okay. Um, so let me take you over to a stumble upon. Here's the stumble upon logo here. Let me, let me show you this. This is, this is from stumble upon. They, they claim it's the easiest way to explore the web. Okay. StumbleUpon is a content discovery platform personalized to you. Content discovery, okay? Um, so here they, they say step one. You got to create an account there. So it's StumbleUpon.com. You guys will all go create an account. I'll show you what the inside of an account looks like. You basically tell StumbleUpon when you create your account what you like, generally speaking. Are you interested in cats? Are you interested in computers? Do you like travel? What about sports? What about uh, technology? Do you like politics? Are you into the news? Are, do you like gardening? Maybe not. Maybe you like, um, you know, off uh, decorating or whatever. Right? We go. We go on and on and on. So you choose all these. So you choose all the topics that you're interested in. And then what StumbleUpon does is you press this magic button, okay? Looks like this right here. You see this orange stumble button? I call it a magical button because it is. You press it, and all of a sudden, a fabulous website just pops up onto your screen. A little weird, right? They say stumble away. Click the stumble button to read articles, watch videos, view photos, and explore the internet like it was designed just for you. So you press this magical stumble button, right? And what pops onto your screen is a random website. But but that website is random sort of because it's based on what you told stumble upon you were interested in. So it's probably related to one of those interests, right? And then you'll also notice that uh you can you can what they say influence the experience so if you like something that that you see if if a really cool video comes up and you're like wow that was awesome you give it a thumb up if this really cool video comes up but you don't really like it that much but you don't hate it either you don't thumb up or thumb down you just stumble away and go to the next site if this video comes up and it's really not that cool and you're like, wow, that was a waste of time. Why did I watch that? You down thumb it. Okay. And stumble upon internally tracks how many upvotes and how many downvotes different pages and different sites are getting. And the ones that are getting a lot of upvotes are, of course, going to be shared and passed around stumble upon more than the others. Okay. That's, that's, kind of how stumble upon works okay pretty simple concept right it's it's actually cool if you think about it you might think well what's so cool about that well think about your experience when you go to google when you go to google and you want to go find something you do a keyword search and and then google gives you a bunch of a bunch of web pages to look at right so um 
go to Google. I know you guys know how to do this, but let me just kind of illustrate. Google.com, so I want to say, zoom in a little bit, how to grow garlic, okay? And I do a search because I'm interested in garlic. By the way, I actually am interested in garlic. I've got a bunch coming up in my garden right now, which we're really excited about. That's why that came on came to mind. So how to, how to grow garlic. Well, so so Google displays a bunch of relevant ads, but you know, the way Google does it is they do it in text form, right? They give you a page title, they give you a page description, and then you can click on one of these pages and then go to the website, right? And then if you don't like it, well then fine, you click out, you click the back, but back button and then you go on to another page, right? That's That's the Google experience. When we've been talking about Reddit, Reddit is, is, is similar to that. Reddit, you basically subscribe to different areas that we call subreddits, right? So subreddits, how about this running subreddit? I'm into running. Um, in fact, I've got a half marathon coming up here in a couple of weeks that I'm getting ready for. So I sometimes will frequent the running subreddit, and this is just like a forum. But yet again, it, it's just giving me text, right? And I have to go in and I have to look at these individual posts, kind of like Google. The reason why StumbleUpon is truly unique is because instead of instead of me looking through and searching for my own content, I, I simply tell them what I like, I hit the magic button, and then boom, I start getting really good websites that start coming up. Randomly, right? They randomly throw it at, throw it at me. So let me, let me illustrate for just a second, if you don't mind. Um, Let's go to my StumbleUpon account, which I'm already logged in. And you'll notice when I'm logged into StumbleUpon, uh, you'll see you've got a, a, a picture of yourself over here at the top right. You've got your magic stumble button right here in the in the middle of the screen. I don't know why I keep calling it magic, but it's, it, it is magic, right? Because it brings these great sites to you. Um, you've got your thumb down, your thumb up. And then you've got some other options I'll show you in just a second. But let me just show you at its core what it does. So I'm sitting here and I want to stumble. So I click stumble. And it loads for a sec. Sorry, it's probably my internet. It's most likely not stumble upon that slow. There we go. Okay, so up comes a website, right? Um, now, what do you notice about this website that just came up here, guys? It's called Lifestyle Body, All That Is Women, and the title is called 10 High Paying Sites That Pay You to Write. Okay, what kind of website is this? As I scroll down here. It kind of looks like a blog, doesn't it? It certainly has ads, Russell. So um, you, can, you can tell how this person's making money. Boy, there's an awful lot of ads on this thing. Anyway, this, this article here is kind of cool. I, one of my interests on StumbleUpon is writing um, because, I've, because I've done a fair amount of writing in the past and so I, I've liked writing as a as an area so and I've liked blogging as an area so stumble upon naturally is going to start throwing sites at me that are related to that interest um, so this is a cool little piece of content these are your top 10 high paying sites for freelance writers so if you're a freelancer and you want to do some writing and make money off of it they give you these sites the penny hoarder a fine parent Babel so on and so forth. Now, I have to ask myself, do I like this? Yeah, it seems like a pretty good resource. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this page, but yeah, this is cool. I'm going to upvote it. Now, when I upvoted this, it sent a signal to Stumble that said, hey, this is a good piece of content. And I'm, by the way, I'm not the only one who did. 56 others listed here also upvoted it. Okay, and I can see their profiles. Okay, so fair enough. Off I go to stumble some more. Click stumble.
Okay, so not surprisingly, this is this is MSNBC. And by the way, um, Pam just asked, are these real websites? Yes, they are. The, and, I'll, and I'll show you how these sites get added into the Stumble database. But this is NBC dot, or MSNBC.com. Um, how shocked are we to see something about Donald Trump, right? You can hardly turn on the news or hop onto your Facebook and not see something about this guy. He's, he's, he's dominating the news. It drives me nuts. Nothing political. I'm not taking, I'm not saying one way or the other. I'm just saying this guy is all over the place. So this is an article and I'll bet this article came out, came up for me, uh, because I, I think I, one of my, my preferences on stumble is I like news related stuff. So they're going to give me timely news related things. And yes, they are trustworthy sites. After all, this is this is MSNBC that I'm sitting on right now, right? I'm not going to like or dislike this because I haven't read the article, so I'm going to hit stumble again. Okay, another random site. 21 people were asked, what's the best curse-free insult you know? Okay. And it looks like it's going to list a bunch of curse-free insults. I'm actually not sure why this content's displaying, to be quite honest. I'm not sure what this re is related to and what I might like. I, I know I'm subscribing to a humor section within StumbleUpon, so maybe this is humor-related. I don't particularly care for a list of um, insults. I try not to insult people too often, so I'm going to downvote this one. And off I go to stumble. Okay, up comes another site. Looks like a blog of some kind. Eight ways to make free time fun. Sorry, eight ways to make free time fun a priority. Okay, so just some informational article. Again, not sure on this. Hopefully you're getting the point. Stumble. I'm almost done. We'll we'll talk more about this. I just want you to get a, a vision for how this works. Okay, this site that came up is uh, Point Park University. Shaping a vision. The relationship between marketing and political campaign strategies. This is probably going to be interesting to me because I, um, I follow politics pretty closely and I am into marketing. So I might read this and might be a good piece of content. Now notice that nobody else is like this. Um, so, you know, I would be the first. If I hit like on this, it's possible that this piece of content then gets distributed to more people. If I dislike it and it shows again to somebody else and they dislike it, it's a good possibility that this is going to sort of get banned or taken out of the, the stumble list of things, right? So it's this really great content that gets added into Stumble. If it gets liked a lot, it's going to get passed around Stumble Upon. And you might think, well, who cares? Nobody uses Stumble Upon. Um, that's not true. There's 30 plus million active users on Stumble Upon, believe it or not. Crazy people like me, as you're sitting here watching this, as I'm hitting the magical Stumble button, right? So. Okay, so hopefully you're hopefully the wheels are turning in your head a little bit, and you're thinking, okay, well, why why does this matter, right? What what who cares about this site? How does this help me make money online? What do you guys think? Why are we talking about stumble upon? Now I'm going to invite all of you guys, just like I did with Reddit, to go create yourself a stumble upon account and try it. And Pam, you are absolutely right. It is easier than Reddit because you know what? All you do is you choose a few things you like and then you hit the magic button, right? That's it. Reddit is a little more confusing. I, I would agree. Um, a lot more going on, a lot more involved. This is Reddit that we're looking at right now. Stumble upon is super easy.
Yeah, I mean, this is you're right, Russell. Russell says, same answer. You eventually work through adding links or ads of affiliates where you will get paid. So, yeah, the idea behind this from a marketer standpoint is, okay, why not submit your own piece of content to stumble upon? Because you can do that. In fact, let me show you the interface just a little bit on stumble upon. I was looking at the trending category. Um, here are my interests. American football, basketball, business, computer graphics, economics, financial planning, humor, investing, marketing, multimedia, etc. Right? See all these banking, capitalism, e-commerce. These are my interests, and so stumble upon is going to naturally be showing me things that fall into these areas. If I click on my profile, guess what? If I click on my profile page right up here, you see this menu that comes up? Check this little button out right here. It says add a page. What does that mean? Well, let me click it and I'll show you. I click add a page and it says submit this page to stumble upon and add it to your likes. It asks me for any page on the internet. So as a user of StumbleUpon, I can suggest to StumbleUpon what I would like submitted there. Well, to Russell's point, why don't you submit your own stuff, right? There's no rule. You can submit your own stuff. If you have a really great piece of content that you wrote about that, say, has to do with the, the most effective way to grow to grow garlic. And by the way, I do have a page about that. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I followed this guy's advice. This guy right here, he's a he's a they call him a master gardener. Um I took one of his classes recently about gardening. And and these are his tips and tricks on how to grow garlic, okay? Growing garlics, tips and ideas, fabulous advice if anybody ever wants to learn how to grow garlic well. So if I found this very useful and interesting, I may copy this URL up here at the top, gerbersgarden.blogspot.com, copy, and I'd go into stumble upon and I'd paste it right here. Because I'm submitting that page to stumble, stumble Upon now. I'm basically saying, Stumble Upon, this is an awesome page. Here you go. Um, put it into your database of, of pages, and when all your 30 million users are hitting that magical Stumble Upon button, I want you to display this on occasion. And they will. So I'm going to say, is it safe for work? Yes, it is. What is this page about? Um, gardening. I can add other tags here. Um, maybe nature is a tag. Um, plants, if, if there is one. No, nope, there's not one for plants. Garden. Yeah, gardening and nature are probably the closest tags. Now, anybody that said that they like gardening or they like nature, they're, they're going to get a shot at seeing this, most likely. So I'm going to save it. And there we go. It's done. I just sent that page, this one right here, into StumbleUpon. Now, guys, if if this is a if the, if this is a good piece of content and it really is interesting to people, people when they stumble this that are interested in gardening are are going to read through this and be like, "Wow, that was a great article." I love that article so much that I'm going to click the little thumbs up button on that article. Guys, what happens if they hit the thumbs up button on the article? Just like I have been, as I've been stumbling around as you've been watching me. What does that do internally to stumble upon? Stumble upon counts the number of upvotes, and the more it's upvoted, the more it's going to be distributed around and around and around stumble upon as a network. 
if it gets distributed more and more, more and people will see it. And and here's kind of the the cool part about it. Um, more people that see it, if if it really is that cool, lots of things are going to happen. They're going to read it. Maybe they're going to click around on the rest of the site. So for example, on this guy's site, if you loved this article, what else, what else would you do on this page? Well, you'd probably read about him. You might click on some of his other links. If there's advertisements here, you might click on it. You might have liked this page so much that you said, you know what, I gotta share this with people. So you share it on Facebook or you share it on Twitter, you share it on your other social media, right? You wanna tell people about it, maybe you link to it. Maybe you bookmark it as one of your favorites on your browser, right? So a lot of things that can happen with a really well done piece of content. If, if this guy had some, some marketing sense and wanted to make some money off of this, he would put some ads on this page. And uh, if, if it goes big on StumbleUpon and gets a lot of interest and a lot of views over several years, as long as it continues to get upvotes within StumbleUpon, it'll be viewed thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times. StumbleUpon has the ability, the ability, if it's a good piece of content, to send a tremendous amount of traffic in a short period of time. Because if this gets upvoted pretty quickly by a lot of people, um, StumbleUpon is going to assume it's good and they're going to distribute it everywhere. And people are going to get a chance to see it all the time. So hopefully you guys can see the value of this. Um, it, it, of course, it, it, of course, requires that the content is good that's being submitted, right? You can't submit a boring blog post that really isn't very interesting and expect anybody to upvote it. StumbleUpon is notorious for having people that really want to see cool stuff or else they'll downvote it or not vote for it at all. Because the type of person that sits here and uses StumbleUpon, what kind of person is that, guys? What, what kind of person is sitting here hanging out, hitting the stumble button? Somebody who might be bored, maybe. I stumble sometimes when I'm bored. Right? Somebody sitting in class, listening to their professor talk to them, and they're bored out of their mind, so they go on and they just want to see some interesting stuff, so they hit stumble. They just stumble upon it prides itself in showing you really cool content, right? I found awesome sites on here. I found several today as I was just sort of browsing. Yeah, people just looking to fill their time and entertain themselves a little bit, right? I mean, think about it. What do you do when you go to the internet and you're bored? You put on Facebook, you hop onto YouTube, you check the local news, you go to ESPN.com and check the scores. What do you do when you're bored? Just because you don't use StumbleUpon doesn't mean 30 million others don't. I think the number now is up to 35 million people are using StumbleUpon. It's a marketer's dream, right? But only marketers that know how to create really decent content. So my advice to you guys this week is not to go submit your content to StumbleUpon. Not yet. I'd, I'd prefer that you go get a feel for StumbleUpon. You create an account at StumbleUpon. And you start. This should be this should be a fun assignment because you guys can go out and put in what you're interested in, and you'll find some really really cool stuff. Really really cool stuff. It's a way to filter out all the stuff on the internet that's garbage and just have stumble upon show you cool stuff. Kind of like Reddit, right? The only thing that you really see on Reddit are upvoted posts that people like within various subreddits. Stumble upon is that concept only a little bit easier. Okay. Why am I sharing all this uh, with with you guys? All this this uh, social stuff because I'm telling you it works. If you if you had a, a blog page with some really fabulous content, a, a really funny picture, a really well done how to article, right? A cool news story, whatever the case may be. You have a, a really cool piece of content send it through Stumble, and you got your ads on there, you got your AdSense there, you can make a bunch of money off your ads just through an article that goes viral and stumble upon. 
It's pretty cool stuff. Now, another thing you can do as a marketer is you can actually pay StumbleUpon for visits. So you can submit a piece of content and you can say, StumbleUpon, I'm willing to pay 15 cents per visitor. And you can actually do some paid advertising through StumbleUpon. We'll cover that maybe another day. Most of you guys are probably interested in just using um, StumbleUpon for free. So that's that's what I thought I'd share with you guys tonight. Um, there is some social here, Michelle. You can interact with people. You can actually leave comments um, on different pieces of content that you've that you've liked. Um, and you can see that this piece of content right here, this is called Heart Touching Before and After Photos of Shelter Dogs. Um, so, geez, some awful, awful pictures here, but they're before and after, right? So, dogs in the shelter, dogs after their owners have taken them and, and cared for them and loved them, right? See? There you go. So, as I'm looking at this, I might love this content and I can see all these other people that liked it. Well, the social part of Stumble Upon is I can go follow some of these other people and, and I can actually follow them and, and Stumble Upon will make recommendations based on the people I follow. So if, if this uh, Molly Bannister right here, if I followed this individual, I can see what pages this person likes. And I can even subscribe to the things that they've liked and stumble upon will will send me some of their content. So there is a social side. Um, you can actually, you know, sort of interact and comment. And, and so, yeah, the, I haven't really talked much about the social side, but it definitely is there. Um, Rick, interesting comment. Rick says, my content is about divorce. I don't know if that would be cool enough. Well. It might fall into one of these categories, an interest category on StumbleUpon. Remember, um, there's an interest section where people come in and, and they say what they're interested in. Okay, so check out all these different kinds of interests. Is poetry, quote unquote, cool? It is to some people. Is the Middle East cool? Network security? PHP, Java, baseball, action movies. You know what I mean? Like you, yours may fall into one of these categories and, and I can keep going on and on. Men's issues. Don't you think that might fall within there, Rick? Get the information men need to stay healthy and happy from fitness and diet to relationships. See that? If if you if you submitted your content to men's issues, I would say that would be a perfect fit. Because you could write an article that's like, hey, for men out there, here's the top 10 things you need to know if you're close to getting a divorce, right? Because your blog is more catered towards men. Perfect. I'm telling you, there's a fit for probably more ideas than you think is, are possible. Most of your niches are going to find a nice little box here on StumbleUpon somewhere. Um, Catherine, to your question, if the rule of thumb is not more than three ads per page, you're talking about AdSense ads, I assume. If you embed links like Click ClickBank within your post, will that be counted as an ad by Google AdSense? No, it will not. The rule is no more than three Google AdSense ads per page. That doesn't mean you can't do other ads. Um, you can. You can keep adding interest. So I've already created my account, but if I were interested in accounting, I could click this little follow button right here, and that, that would help me follow um, anything related to accounting. There you go, Rick. Listen to that. Russell says, having gotten divorced, it, that content would have been interesting to me. So I'm telling you, there's a place for everybody, and there there's a niche that will fit into one of these boxes here. I promise you that. Okay. Um, anyway, I'm I'm not gonna probably go into any more detail tonight. I want you guys to all get your account set up. We can talk about uh, more on sort of 
content and how to make it better and what to submit here. I'll probably talk a little bit more about stumble upon next week after you guys have had a chance to use it. Um, go ahead and have some fun with it this week and, and, uh, we'll, we'll finish up from here. Okay. Guys, thanks for coming along. Um, hopefully, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you all, uh, next Thursday, same time and same place. See you again soon.